Other things may change us, but we start and end with family. If you really think about it, that couldn't be more true, especially when it comes to our health. Where we come from plays a big role in our risk for certain diseases. For example, long-lasting illnesses such as diabetes, heart disease, and obesity. The way in which our body functions on a cellular level is also heavily influenced by other hereditary factors, the environment of the womb we grew up in, and the behaviors of our parents. Maternal health behaviors include actions such as how physically active our mom was while she was pregnant with us, how much or what she ate while she was pregnant, or how she connected with us when we were first born. Such behaviors can be influenced by a mother's wide kinship networks, particularly by the role played by senior women, our grandmothers. Grandmothers have been recognized for the critical role they play in advising and influencing younger generations. Seen as figures of maternal wisdom and expertise, grandmothers have been identified as learning institutions responsible for transmitting their knowledge to pregnant women. This is especially true in South Asian communities. To understand the maternal health knowledge South Asian grandmothers are sharing with their daughters and daughters-in-law, we interviewed and analyzed the responses of 17 grandmothers from Southern Ontario, Canada. We discovered that many of our grandmothers are keen to share guidance and advice about optimal maternal health behaviors, and their perspectives are coming from many sources, personal experience, medical-based, and cultural, with one thing in common, looking out for the best interests of future generations. From the interviews, we learned that our grandmothers may have different perspectives on how to pass on advice to us. However, they agree that far before planning for pregnancy, it is vital for us to build a positive lifestyle around nutrition, physical activity, and mental wellness. Once we are ready to have a baby, the pregnancy period should be a time where we surround our mind and body in an enriched environment. This includes nutritional enhancement, positive relationships, and healthy routines. Finally, the postnatal period should include behaviors that support healing and restoration for both the mother and the newborn. This includes engaging in self-care, rebuilding healthy habits, bonding with the baby, and supporting newborns with healing touch, warmth, and calming heat. Before having another child, we should try our very best to get back to our pre-pregnancy habits around nutrition, physical activity, and mental wellness. Our grandmothers recognize that there may be challenges to attaining all of these conditions. They reiterate that they are here to support and encourage us to do the very best that we can. So what does this mean for South Asian communities? It means that our grandmothers play important roles in shaping our health. It means that they are sharing knowledge in our best interest before we even know it. It means they are advocating for our health before we are even born. Other things may change us, but we start and end with family.